Hey everybody, I'm Aisha Curry. And I'm Stephen Curry. And this is the GQ, GQ Couples, Couples Quiz. Quiz. He thinks he's gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. So we'll just hit the toss up, really. What she means is I'm gonna win. Okay. What do I love to cook the most? Are we talking uh, like specific meal? He's already full. No, speak specific meal or uh I would say like a specific dish. Okay, well it's dinner, but I would say uh, tagine. No. Gosh, come on. That's what I make when I want to make something easy and quick because I use the rotisserie chicken from the store. It's definitely oxtail. You like to eat oxtail? I do like to cook oxtail. We just wow. like to eat it. Next question. What do I hate to cook? I'm laughing because we were there 10 years from year one to now. I always like the simple dishes, like it's just, you know, chicken palm. God, I knew you were going to get this one right. It's chicken palm, but it's like, I started to understand when you say, what do you want for dinner? I got to up my level of ass. We need different flavor profiles. We can't make chicken farm for a decade. Yeah. I mean, I can, but He's this we gotta slip it up sometimes. Right. You get my point. Thank you. What is my, <laughs> what is my shoe size? Uh, it is a, it's a nine men's, which is 11 women's, which is like a 45. The audacity, the audacity. I'm a size 10, eight and a half men's. I make signature curry brand shoes and she's always talking about how she didn't get the sample size and all the, all the shoes ahead of time because they're a size nine and then. They're actually an eight and a half. Okay. It's a better answer than when I was pregnant with our first child. We won't tell that story. Oh yes, I'm telling it. It was my birthday and he decided he was gonna get me some shoes some heels with cherries on them. I opened the box, they're a size five and a half. They were smaller than our currently nine-year-old's foot. So. Something got lost in translation. To whatever. <laughs> okay, you get that one wrong. Where was our first date? Hollywood Boulevard, Bad Up to Sows, little Hollywood Walk of Fame, to the Grove. We did the LA right. We did, do, we did do LA right. I it's so funny because we always go back and forth on this. That's you consider that our first date, but I consider our first official date when we went to go see Batman and IMAX. Mm -hmm. But I'll give you that one. Okay, this is a good one. What's something on my bucket list? Want to go. Yeah. This is true. Can I go? We're gonna wait for some uh, some new data to come out on the <laughs> safety of that mission. Keep going. It's a hard no from, from his end right now. What side of the bed do I always sleep on? So this is a trick question mm -hmm. because sometimes it's, it depends on location. Usually it's opposite of the nearest entry point. That's in hotels. Yeah. At home I sleep closest to the door so I, so I can get some kids. But when we're away, I'm as far as possible from that door. Just in case the killer comes <laughs> through the door. Alright. What's the first meal I ever made you? Ooh, this is good. Ooh, I don't remember this. Was, was, that, was that at your house? Was that your parents' house or was that my dorm room? It was at my parents' house. Was it oxtail? No, it was an oxtail. I don't remember this one. Okay, remember your dad gave me southern seasoning? And I made like chicken quarters with a southern seasoning and like a little bit of lemon. Remember that? I mean, I don't because it was just, I was nervous. Which is crazy because that's house. the day that you officially asked me to be your girlfriend. <laughs> well, see, I was nervous. <laughs> I don't know what I ate that day. All right, that's a good one. What is my favorite game show besides our new show about last night, currently on HBO Max? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Favorite game show is Jeopardy or The Fortune. One of those two. Is that not right either? No. Family Feud. That's it's, your mom. That's the it's definitely Family Feud. That's your mom's. 
I missed it when we did Family Feud. You so did. That doesn't mean it's your favorite. It bumps just, up to the top. Yeah, of the come over. That's going to be on the TV. Oh, they Yeah, it's not your favorite. What are each of our kids' favorite things to eat? Let's start with Cannon. Mac and cheese. Yep. Ryan. Ryan. Is everything. Yeah. <laughs> That girl loves to eat. It's pretty much everything. I can't do No oysters. Yeah. That is her favorite, favorite thing. And I introduced her to clams and mussels, and now she's interested in the difference of all three. It's so cute. What's my favorite so. ingredient to use? Brown sugar. Yes! I love it. I love it. What are my favorite spices to use? Uh, cumin. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. What else? Paprika. <laughs> what? That word. <laughs> Say it again. A paprika. <laughs> paprika. Cuban and paprika. What? It's not paprika. <laughs> I'm actually just impressed that I knew what that was. Paprika. What's paprika? What, what would you say? <laughs> Curry powder. Cinnamon, nutmeg, saffron. I got one right. You got one right. Uh, what is my ideal date night? Putting the kids in bed and locking yourself in your bedroom with some wine and either a TV show or a movie and have dinner up there. Am I dating myself? You're up there too. I was gonna get to that part. I got, the, I got the scenario right. Okay, it is true. A date night at home is a date night we'll spend. What is, oh, this is, Oh, this is going to be interesting. What is my biggest business accomplishment? Yes. I'm going to go with the first thing you said you wanted to accomplish as like an accolade. Besides opening up your own restaurant, I would say being in the New York Times bestseller. Yeah. Not just one time, but two times. That was a very proud moment for me. Mm -hmm. Follow closely by the 30 on the 30. Let's yeah. Start. We got 30 on the 30. Okay. We got a two times bestseller list. We got a restaurant. We got a sweet July brand. We have a brick and mortar Stop cafe. Huh? Stop. We have a wine and then we ain't curry. Sorry. Thank you. Get you somebody that'll gas you like he gasses me. What is the charitable cause I am most passionate about? In the child of hunger. Absolutely. We have a nonprofit Eat Learn Play, and we make sure that kids in the Oakland area have access to quality education, quality nutrition, and safe places to play. And it's something that's near and dear to both of our hearts. What is my biggest piece of advice for young entrepreneurs? Find your passion. Yeah, but I would say, I mean, outside of finding your passion, um, I would say that one of the biggest things that you experience as a young entrepreneur is hearing the word no over and over and over and over again. So it's really just to learn to build up a thick, tough skin. And if you are passionate, that should drive you through the no's until you get, all you need is one yes. It's great advice. He can get half a point. What? He gets half a point. What kind of game is this? A competitive one. All right. What's the first game of yours I went to? I'm gonna say it was a Davidson game at home, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say it was against it was a Southern Conference opponent, probably Wofford. Wow, that sounds really accurate. I'm gonna say that was it during my junior year. My favorite game is Valentine's Day at Furman, but I wrote my. Oh, that was not. That's your favorite game thing. I had a sign. I had a sign that said, "Hurry." Curry and be my Valentine, but it was unfortunate because <laughs> he did roll his ankle that game. Wouldn't be the last time. Keep it going. What's my favorite way to decompress after a stressful day? A glass of wine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Followed by the, uh, taking a bath. Sure. He gets the points. My head was somewhere else. Was it in the gutter? Yes. Uh -huh. It was. Very nice. What's my biggest pet peeve? In life or me? Let's go what? you and in life. So start with in life. Why are you laughing? Because all the ones in life have to do with me doing. <laughs> because I, now I can't think about life. So I just list the pet peeves of my Me biting my nails, leaving all the cabinets in the closet open. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did I get those two right? From yeah, me? no, I wouldn't say the cabinet open thing is, is, is a pet peeve. I think at this point it's more nostalgic because you always do it before you leave for the games and it like never fails. Like every single game, even if you didn't take anything out of that specific cabinet, for whatever reason, the door is just open. Biting the nails for sure. Biting the nails for sure. I mean, we're in, the, we're in a pandemic now to make things worse and it's like, he stays biting his nails. I even watch him on the bench Ooh, during the games. My yes, I even watch him on the bench during the games and I'm like, oh, it's so cold. I'm being cute. <laughs> okay, so I get that point. The biggest pet peeve in life, bad driving? No. Drivers? No, I, I would say like mean people. Just like it's just, one of the, that could be mutually exclusive. That could be one it's of the a same. concept I can't grasp of, like why people don't just exercise people. kindness. That's not a pet peeve, though. That's, that's everybody who likes mean people. Okay, that's true. Yeah, maybe I guess you can get the point for driving because it's like people that don't you consider <laughs> this is also you people that don't, refuse to use their their signals. Should be telling all my secrets. What's my favorite restaurant? <laughs> Besides my besides my own. No Malibu. Yeah, no Malibu. I feel like everybody that does this too always says the same restaurant, no Malibu. But it's just the ambiance is so great. It's the it is the perfect celebratory spot. I just love it. We celebrate Tuesday. Woo! Let's go to no Malibu. <laughs> yeah, life's short. Exactly. For bonus points. Yellow tail, sashimi. Don't be so black cod. Ooh, what's that one? It's the uh, uh, hickam. Uh, no. no uh, what's what is it? The what is it? What? Well, I always get shishito peppers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. But the spicy tuna crispy rice. And then lately, like the past six times we've gone. <laughs> It's been those little tiny Japanese peaches. I get like an extra bowl of them. They're so delicious. Stephanie gets the raw and tempura. I feel like it's so basic though. It's just like. <laughs> Where's my favorite vacation spot? The south of France. Yes. I Is we bougie in here? <laughs> no. I love the south of France so much. I like the way the air smells. I love the people. I love the ambiance. I love the beaches. I love the water. I love everything. That's right off. He likes the south of France too. He wants to go to San Jose. Where do you want to go, dog? You want to go to San Jose? All right. What am I most scared of? <laughs> An alien invasion. <laughs> You can't put my business out there like that. <laughs> I'm not afraid of an alien invasion. I am. You're afraid of an alien invasion without a sense of bunker. No, I don't want. I don't want a bunker because of an alien invasion. I want a bunker in case of a nuclear attack. The alien invasion I'm excited about because I think that they, if they're, if other life exists out there, I think that they are potentially way smarter than us and that they would be coming in peace to teach us positivity and life. Unbelievable. That is not what I'm most scared of. I didn't get that right. No, not at all. I'm most scared of something happening to one of our kids. Yes, you're right. I know I'm right. It's too old to know. Have her mother. I think I did all right. I think I got like 75% right. So I don't know how many questions there were. I think I got about 18. <laughs> this is how many points you got. Question number one each. Okay. See how well you know your boy. How many tattoos do I have? And you have to list each one. Oh, great. You have a TCC 30 tattoo. Mm -hmm. You have an A on your finger. Mm -hmm. You have the one we got in Myrtle Beach. Long story. Mm -hmm. Do we count the kids' tattoos as single tattoos? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you have one for each of the kids. Mm -hmm. The wolf, the unicorn, and the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Then you have the woe tattoo, mm -hmm. and then you have the be in the present tattoo. Mm -hmm. That's eight. And then you have the one on your rib cage that has all of our names and the day we got married on it. That's nine. And then you have the Curry family tattoo. That's ten. Then, then ten tattoos. Ten tattoos. Did I get it right? Yeah. I think ten tattoos. That's one right. Yes, it is. 
Who would I like to play one on one against more than anyone of all time? Great question, GQ. Of all time. You might have stopped her already. Of all time. Testing her NBA knowledge. I don't think you're going to get this one. You don't think I'm going to get it? Is it, okay, is it somebody that you are put in comparison of? Sometimes. Steve Nash? Close. I think sort of position. Alan Iverson. Oh my gosh. It's a great guess, though. Thank you. Which body part do I complain about being sore the most? Your hand. Okay, I'll give you that because that is currently. Yeah. Historically, obviously, the angles. Yes. Oh, good one. Where is my favorite place to play outside of Oracle? Madison Square Garden. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> I want to pull out of history there. <laughs> what is my ideal off day? His ideal off day is to wake up a little bit later than usual, play with the kids for a little bit, then pop on his finest curry brand collared golf shirt and hit the, hit the course for the day. Come back home to chicken farm. Put ideal in all caps and that is that day. <laughs> what are my nicknames for you? My woman, mm -hmm. Ishibu, mm -hmm. baby. There's one more, the OG. Oh, Tinker Woo. There we go. She's on a roll. I know you. Uh, what was my favorite team growing up? Are we talking football? Uh, we're talking basketball. basketball. Actually, well, I'm going to go through the three major sports, okay. not including hockey, because I didn't really have it. Okay. NFL. Panthers. Correct. Baseball. Red Sox. Correct. And NBA. The Charlotte Hornets. Well, if I didn't play basketball for a living, what would my job be? I think I, I remember you saying, like, in early days, I remember you saying that you would probably be a basketball coach for, like, high school or yeah. something. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> and I'm just I'm killing it. What NBA achievement am I most proud of? So you're not the type of guy that gets hype off of, like, the personal accolades. So I think that yours are the championships. Yes. Which but one I think is my favorite? Wouldn't it be the first one? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Dang. I was trying to trip you up there. Oh. What non-NBA achievement am I most proud of? Ooh. What non-NBA achievement are you most proud of? Holy. Being a dad? So I was going to say my family. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously the answer my kids and you are my biggest accomplishment and achievement. And I want to make sure it stays that way. Yeah, I love you. Ooh, interesting. Which one of our kids is most like me? Oh, man. That's tough. I would say personality-wise, I think Cannon is most like you. He's extremely social and extroverted. Um, I'm an introvert, I'm really shy. Cannon has none of that. He is the friendliest guy in natural nature that I've ever witnessed outside of you. So, it'd have to be Cannon. I agree with that. Like father like son. Ooh, what's my golf handicap currently? Cur oh, this is not fair. Currently, right now? Yes, I'm making it extremely good. No, right now? Yes. Come on. Right now? Right now. Plus one. Damn! I got it right! <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Next question, please. Do I have a sports superstition? Yes, absolutely. You you have to take a pregame nap. Yes, that's more of preparation though. There's one weird superstition in terms of my apparel and clothing. I'm giving you some hints, this is very hard. Insert cricket. <laughs> oh, ankle braces. Specifically socks, shoes, and ankle braces. There's a specific approach to them. Me? That's all I have to say. You put the brace over the sock? No, this, you got this one wrong. I just want to be <laughs> so happy. I put my left on before my right. Always. Are you serious? Purpose. Yes. Are you for real? Yes. I, like I just learned something new about you. I'm going to make that up. Left guy. Thank you, GQ. Right. Left side, right side, left brace, right brace, left shoe. Right Are you shoe. serious? Yes. Okay. 
What do I absolutely need to have with me on road trip? Your iPhone. That's a tough one because it's a very extensive list. We got an iPad, an iPhone, a book I'm reading. So I guess your cute briefcase. Or, yeah, whatever's in that thing. But even now, it's got to have my new rag in it. Gotta get these waves back. Cut off the hair. Gotta... Surf. You can surf on these waves right Come now. Come on. I'm trying really hard while I You're can. You're doing a great job. I'll give you that one. What's my favorite TV show? Shit's Creek. Boom. Yeah, yeah. We went to the Met Gal for the first time last year, and he was so excited to search and find Dan Levy. He found him. I found him. Who's my favorite musician? Oh, I know this. Lupe Fiasco. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I want to be, be happy for a minute. What is my hidden talent? Your hidden talent? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, golf isn't hidden, so I'm not I'm not rocking with that. So I would say that you're really good at math. That's not what I had in mind. I was going to say either solving a Rubik's Cube or juggling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pick up that Rubik's Cube in like six once you, months. Pick it, once you solve it, it's more fun. He can solve it in like two minutes. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you. When do you juggle? When I'm hidden. My hidden time. What is my favorite item of clothing? Your Curry brand sneakers. That is not. That's a genius it, answer. It's a great answer. But it's, what's my second uh, favorite item of clothing? Your Lululemon boxers. It's any hoodie. Oh, this is a pet peeve. It drives me insane. He falls asleep all the time in hoodies. And I have maybe like 50, 60 videos on my phone where I catch him, like that he's falling asleep in a hoodie. And I'm like, another night, another hoodie. And I'm going to compile all of the videos and make one big video of him. Uh, hi, Reza. One big video of him sleeping in these hoodies. It drives me insane. Definitely. It's just yeah, cozy. It's not warm. I, I can never be too warm. <laughs> Which of my, ooh, good question. Which of my signature sneakers is my favorite? Meaning the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Pick a number, any number. Which one will it be? It's the curry by Chef Young Sheep, the white and gold ones. That would be the curry one low. The curry one low. That's what I said. And that is not correct. The I, curry four is that's, my favorite. Yes, that's what I said. The curry four are your favorite. Which ones? All of them. Well, one. I like the curry one low Chef Young Sheep. That's a good shoe. All right. Which Warriors jersey is my favorite? Oh. God. And boy, we have a lot of them. I want about 13 years, probably 70 years. Cool. So are we going nostalgic or are we like, what I are we doing? Because if we were going nostalgic, I'd say the first Warriors jersey you ever wore. No. But if we're not doing that, then I would say it's this the black ones. And what does the black one say on it? The town. That is absolutely correct. Wow. That is <laughs> I just so worked that. I still won. You didn't win. Right? I won. In life, but I won this game. All right, Aisha. This is how many you got right. Damn straight. I think I was a great team player today. I think I, uh, I helped her with a couple of hints. And so I was very, very pleased with my performance. You did a great job. Really you did a great job. Really well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I have a bottle of champagne to go open to celebrate my win. Mmm. Our win. <laughs> okay, fine.